Hello everybody, welcome back to our first draft of Magic 19, so Corset, uh, brought him back, and we're going to be playing on Magic Arena. So, we've kind of got a mess of a draft. It's a bit of a blue-green evasion enchantment kind of thing, a little bit of white. With Omen Speaker in the hand, I think I keep this. It's too bad that Scholar of the Stars is basically never drawing a card. We didn't find any artifacts that were worthwhile to play. I'm not sure if that's a common thing or not. It really didn't seem like there was much. Kind of like that same with... We got Supreme uh, Spectre, I think it's called. The plus one, plus one to all spirits. Man, that card... Yeah, there's like no other spirits, as it turns out. I just never saw anything worth taking. Uh, open Form and an Even Wind Mage. Kind of like both of those. We have four power. I uh, have four power. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Eternal. Four lands. So we will be able to go all the way up to four. We can play even Wind Mage and then Oaken Form on it. Uh, I kind of like this. We're just going to top top. I really like that they added the animation for that, by the way. It's nice that they finally did it. Poland's got a lot of uncommon lands here. Sun Cleanser. All right. So we're going to play the Avon Wind Mage here first. And then next turn, we're probably going to hold up... High, like, we're probably going to play Highland Game and hold up Essence Scatter. I don't know. I'm not 100% on that. Really? Okay. I mean, I'll block. I'm not sure what they'd have that would actually cause it to be a problem, but I'm cool with it. Yeah. Man, that's a big ol' 3-3. Three, three. Could Snapping Drake try and race. Scholar of the Stars just trades, which is kind of nice. I think... I'm gonna Snapping Drake first here. We'll take three on the backswing. We're at 16, they're at 18. We can attack back in the air pretty well, though. Yeah. Ow. Vampire Sovereign. Ugh. Well, I do really wish I'd held up that Essence Scatter now. We can Oaken Form. I'm just kind of worried about what that will do. I think I might just pass here. I can play Anticipate, Essence Scatter the next thing. I really wish I'd held up Essence Scatter for this. If we just played Highland Game and had Essence Scatter, it would have been amazing. I'm worried that they attack with that. Yeah. I'll take it. Highland Game next turn can block that. I might have to, I might have to Essence Scatter this. I kind of pressed myself into Essence Scattering something. I should have... Um, no, I couldn't really double block could make a stand. That's actually awesome. I'll let that happen. Double top. Ooh. Damn, I was really hoping we hit a land. A land would have been perfect. We could hold the essence scatter and make a stand. Or we could play Highland game. But I think we're just going to pass instead. Okay. One for one. But at least I get it. It's been too much of a threat right now. Hmm. Hey, there's a land. A little late. Uh. We could Oaken Form and play a Supreme Phantom, so we can double block the Vampire Sovereign. They haven't had anything to deal with it yet. Might be the plan.
get in there. We gotta do something. They're drawing too many cards. Yep. Aerial Engineer. They don't have an artifact yet, though. Boy, we are in a lot of trouble. Play that and pass. We're just kind of stuck. At least we can counter something big. We need our own divination to maybe draw us a bunch of gas here. Uh, I kind of can't let that happen. It makes aerial engineer too much of a problem here. Totally lost is kind of cool. I just hate that this has a come into play ability. Hmm. Would have been cool to essence scatter that, but also I can't really deal with a 4 4 flyer either. One or the other would be an issue. Alright, I'll just pass. We still have Oaken Forms, we still have another three. So they've got some kind of trick, but we can just totally lost it in response. Okay. Interesting. Uh, if I attack, it's not actually doing anything for us. It's gonna pass. Chromium! Oh, that's cool. Sh sure. That's slightly better than anything we opened. Just a little bit. Yep. Well then. GG! Good sir. GG, Chromium. Oh, uh, Chromium might be a woman. I'm not sure. Well, uh, yeah, Chromium we cannot deal with. We could plummet it, kind of, if they don't have a card in hand. That card is unreal. <sighs> plummet does seem good against them, so I definitely want to plummet in. Get rid of Disperse or Totally Lost. Maybe just Totally Lost. Disperse is at least cheap. Could play the third Oaken form. They didn't have a lot of removal. They had the one destroy tap creature. Hmm. Yeah, this is just gonna be a really, really rough one. Their deck is full of great cards. We didn't see any of those cards. We didn't see the three four flyer at all. Like we didn't pass it either. Uh, we didn't, <laughs> certainly didn't see anything on the level of Chromium. Didn't see any removal either, like that. Uh, the destroy tap creature. We never saw anything like that. So we're not really in the same league as this. Alright. I guess this is okay. We need a really good one. Uh, Dwindle could kind of do it. If they, Again, if they don't have any cards in hand. Ugh, so disgusting. And you can't even counter it. It's just unbeatable. I'm gonna keep this. We've got the Surge Phantom. We should be able to draw a forest at some point. We have seven sources. And maybe we'll be unlucky. It's certainly possible, but I think this is a fine keep. Most of our deck is blue. I'm just going to get aggressive here. We're going to smash them with that, and then I'll anticipate and hold up Essence Scatter. Please don't kill it. Okay, cool. kind of wish this was in the gate right now. No, just 
Versus. Alright. Cool. Hired Blade. That's fine. I don't care about a 3 2. Ugh, yep. There's no way for me to stop that. So I guess I just let it resolve. Gross. Yeah, that's way better than any removal we saw. We didn't see any Take Vengeances at all, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember seeing a single one of those. Would have been real nice to have something. They've got good fixing, too. Jeez. Alright, Rejuvenator. Your deck is really, really solid. I imagine they've got... They must have multiple Take Vengeances. That they're hitting it this regularly. Puts it into play tapped. Hmm. I really want to hold up Essence Scatter. I get the feeling I'm going to need it. So I'm just going to pass. Like, if they play the 3-4 Vampire here, we're in so much trouble. Nope. That I'll scatter. We're kind of committed at this point where I need to play something. That was a lot of gas we just put on the bottom of our deck. We've got a lot of land. I get the feeling we're going to draw a lot more land now. <laughs> Seems like a problem. Yep. Mild issue. I really, really wish we could draw, like, a Divination or something. We have no bombs in this deck, though. Like, I'm not sure how we get out of it. I get the 7-7, seven, seven, maybe. We can get the Ghast form. Okay, we are... We're not rolling high on the draws, that's for sure. And at any moment, we just have, like, Chromium come down and we auto-lose. Yeah, not the highest of rolls. There we go. Flash, can't be countered. And we just lose. There's no way we can beat Chromium. Cart's just super unreal. Alright. Cool. <laughs> we tried! It's all that we could do. I mean, I could have saved myself a turn by plummeting on when they attacked, but it just really didn't matter at that point. Their hand was a lot better than ours. We'd flooded. Their deck is just better. Uh, they had a really, really good start, and we just flooded out like crazy. Not much we can do about that. Uh, interesting. Oh boy. Well, we're continuing to roll really, really high on our draws because we went from uh, a bunch of land, like way, way, way too many, five more than our opponent, to one land. So let's mulligan that. We're on the play, so it's particularly awful. I guess we keep this. We are in unreal amounts of trouble. Oaken form is good, but I like. There's no way that I can keep it. I can't, don't even have any creatures to put it on. I have no power to. I have no lands to play it with. Yeah, this is probably just to scoop them up. Unfortunately, man, Vine Mare would be really nice if we could actually get it on curve, but the odds of that are exceptionally low. This hand is real bad. We need to rip a lot of running cards in a row. That's helpful at least. It's starting to get us there.
Please don't have a counter spell. This is the only thing that we're going for. They have it. Yep. Wow. Uh, I don't think that we can just sit back and not do anything either, though. Like, we have no plan. We have nothing. So we have to try and play a card. It just sucks real bad that we immediately get destroyed by the one card that gets us. Like, there's a one, one card in the set that actually gets us there. Sure, it's a common... But, like, not everybody plays Essence Scatter that often. The chances that they have multiples and that they have it exactly in their hand this time is low enough that I think it was worth the risk. We're way behind on uh, cards because we were on the play and we had, like, a really, really clunky hand. But, yeah, Blanchard Armor too. Alright, well, we can just scoop. Unfortunately, we have no way to get out of that. We're far, far too far behind. Like, there's nothing that we can do to play. Uh, we don't have a big enough creatures to actually deal with that. Sure, we have Totally Lost and we have Dispersed, but they've got a billion cards in hand. Even if we manage to get that to happen, we're already on such a low life total uh, that there's not really much chance. We've lost basically the best creature in our entire deck. Uh, yeah, that was brutal. Our draws have been <laughs> unfortunate so far. Let's hope that we can get a good one. I mean, our deck, I think, is pretty medium, but... That's just the way it is. I don't want to sideboard anything. I don't want to change too much. I also didn't necessarily want to show our opponent a bunch of cards. Let them figure out what we're doing. Brutal starts, though. Alright, I'll keep this one and hope that we draw a land. If we can draw a land, we might be able to do something. We'll see. We've got a really good chance of hitting a land here, even on the play. Okay. Awkward, because we can't play Highland game now, but I I don't want to risk it. Our draws have already been so, so bad. <laughs> like, it's... I, I feel gun-shy to take any kind of risk there and not be able to play a 3-drop. Because, man, we have been getting absolutely bodied on the draws. I don't feel like it's a real great idea to try and roll the dice now. Play the Scholar. Yeah, they have an Essence Scatter again. Or something. I didn't want to open form into this much open mana either. This time we actually have options though. See, like, that was the problem with the last hand is that if we don't play the Mare there, like, what are we doing? We just don't do anything. I can't just not play the game. That's kind of the problem. Alright, let's see what our opponent's doing. Nothing. Oh, I'll play Scholar. Pretty awful card in our deck, but hey. Sure, cancel. That's great. Having to use it on a card like that is good for us. Opponent's still passing. Huh. Alright. Snapping Drake. And Essence Scatter. Another cancel. Oh my goodness. They've got a lot of counter magic. Cool, that's actually pretty good for us, because it means that we know we can open form, and wow, Essence Scatter is a great top deck, too. Dead in two turns. A little bit scary that they can just disperse this. Plummet it, something like that. Vivian's Invocation. Really sucks that we can't just Essence Scatter that. Although, they are in... Wow. Wow. Alright. Well, that's a pretty good high roll. Brutal. Gets around our essence scatter and everything. It's a good one. Uh... So, Vine Mare doesn't really do it, unfortunately. I might just want to keep the land so we can actually get to the 7-7, seven, because seven, it does trump their cards. Man, we're in so much trouble. Brutal. Hitting on the 
Vivian's invocation was a little bad for us, I'd say. That high roll's pretty good. Ghost form would have basically been the game. Man, that'd be sick to hit. <laughs> Mirror image. Alright. Nasty. Yeah, we're getting high rolled pretty bad. That seems incredibly dangerous. We've got to have another blocker afterwards or a counter spell again. This is, yeah, like, this is insanity if we just have a bounce spell. They're just dead. There's no way that would attack would have been good. Alright, well, we can just scoop again. So, unfortunately, there wasn't a whole lot that we could do about that draft. I mean... It was a bit of a train wreck. We could have maybe followed the signals a little bit more into a white-black life, life life gain deck. But we didn't see any real removal spells. Like we didn't see the um, destroy target cap creature. Like the we didn't we didn't see any of those kinds of spells at all that we saw our opponents playing. We didn't have something like a Chromium or a Vivian's invocation, that's for sure. We just got absolutely destroyed twice by some very, very good rares and mythics. I just didn't, deck didn't have that kind of power. We just never saw any of those cards, never opened any of those cards. It was a bit of a train wreck draft, but at the same time, I, there wasn't a whole lot that I could have done to untrain wreck it in comparison to what our opponents were playing. And we had a, more than a little bit of trouble with our draws, too. I mean, there was a couple games where we kind of just didn't play, which is unfortunate for our first draft, but... We can kind of learn a little bit, see some of the synergies. We saw that, like, blue-green tempo does actually seem like it could be a deck. Our last opponent had a better version of it than we did. Uh, Vivian's Invocation is a heck of a card. I, I wish we'd saw seen something like that, because it had been really nice for us. I think that there's some reasonable ways to actually run that. Lots of counter magic in the format. You can use the Essence Scatters to good effect. Uh, I did really, really like seeing uh, the white-black cards come by. It looked like there was enough synergy for that. We definitely learned that there's not enough spirits <laughs> to be running that uh, Supreme Phantom or whatever. That card was just not good enough. I mean, it's fine as a 1-3 flyer for two, which is a decent enough card. That's been a card in a lot of formats, but just realize that essentially the plus one plus one's probably not ever coming into play. It, it was a really unfortunate draft for us. We just got really unlucky in a lot of different ways. But we also learned a lot, and that's all we can hope to do. So I will see you next week, and I'll have some more deck decks for you as I open up a bunch of boosters and get some new cards for uh, Magic 2019 and brew up some sweet piles, because I've got some good ideas, I think.